say that someone is robbing pharmacies across the city, and the chances are that he has hit one where you shop. In fact, so far, police have linked the same man to seven pharmacy robberies located on Indy's north, northwest, and south sides. Tonight, Crime Beat reporter Steve Jefferson is following the investigation and has the surveillance photos police want you to see. Investigators believe the man in these surveillance photos is desperate and dangerous. This is one of seven holdups where the disguised robber demanded prescription drugs. Among his hits, this South Marion County CVS store on Kentucky Avenue, where last month a masked man demanded painkillers. The same man is suspected in the March 30th robbery at this South Marion County Walgreens. In some cases, investigators say he demanded the pharmacist hand him fentanyl, a medicated patch for chronic pain. It's going to desperate measures, crime. Addiction expert Tobin Linton at the Fairbanks Treatment Center tells Eyewitness News the robbery spree by someone possibly desperate for pain medicine is no surprise. That message is so strong that the individual taking the, the painkiller needs to get more and more and more. To try to throw investigators off his trail, police say he wore a surgical style mask during the robbery. He also wears a black jacket, black pants, white ball cap, glasses, walks with a limp and uses a cane. One pharmacist says the robber told them he needed the pain patches because his wife was being held hostage. Linton says anyone with family members prescribed pain medicine should always use caution. It should be a very short period of time um, that, that it's extra prescribed following a surgery or, or, or some type of injury. In the robbery here at this Southside Walgreens, police say the suspect did not show a gun, and that's been the case in all of the robberies, but investigators fear that could change. If you recognize a suspect, call Crime Stoppers. The telephone number is 262-TIPS. On the Southside, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.